guys, welcome back to Lola's farm. So we are getting right to it this morning. We are, as you guys saw in our last video, we're working on our beautiful storage space up here. So the name of the game today is gonna be what, love? We're building all of the drawers. So all right, we wanna get everything out of up there because we need to move in up there. That's ASAP, gonna be, baby. That's gonna be our bed, that's gonna be where we sleep, that's gonna be where we keep all of our clothes. And if you guys don't know, Kayla's kept all of her clothes in one small drawer. And I need some space for I need to expand a little bit, you know? We've been doing it for three and a half years, so I totally get it. <laughs> but we're going to be custom building some drawers today. We got a couple pieces of plywood all cut, all ready to go. We got the Craig jig out. And time to start putting these things together. Fill all the holes with wood filler. Start doing the next measurements. One down, 11 more to go. And then we also still have to do all the face plates, so. Well, this one took us one hour, the other one's to be faster, 45 minutes each one. So we got eight more hours to go. Yeah. 18 and three quarters. <laughs> the next one, the sides. The depth. 17 and an eighth. And nine. So it's the same as the other one. Well, cool. I want to do a little bit better. So to build these boxes, we're using a Craig jig. And this tool is actually really, really cool. And the idea is it helps you countersink the screw into the wood and it kind of helps you with all the angles and making it all perfect. So the first thing you do is you just clamp the jig down and then you take the drill bit it comes with and you just drill a hole. So now it's pretty easy, you just put a little bit of glue, line these up, and then I like to use a square before I screw it in, just to make sure it's super square. And then I turn to Kake and I say, Kake, could you put your foot over here for me? Usually what people will do is they'll leave the Craig jig guide on here with a really long drill bit to screw the pocket hole screws in. But they don't sell pocket hole screws here. So I'm just using regular screws because that's all I could buy. And they still work just as good. And then the last step is we just put the bottom piece on with a little bit of glue. Nice. And there's your box. Up, and now we're just gonna have to put a face plate on there. So the, the, the one that were like but with a like, pedal, yeah. like. The first faceplate is all done. It's pretty simple. The front looks really nice. The back kind of looks like. Janked. Yeah, but you're never gonna see this because this is the part that's going right up against the drawer. It looks beautiful. But it is a lot of work. <laughs> it is a lot of work, you guys. But it looks good. It's gonna look so good when it's all done. All sanded, all painted. Some little knobs on the front. Alright bro, you're first. No, that's for the goats. Come on bro, come on. <laughs> You went up parasite. <laughs> come on, Katie and I had this for a few months. No. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Save it for the goats. So this is all of our favorite time <laughs> of the week. This is our time that we give our goats our little herbal parasite cleanse. So we're taking a little lunch break, we got some food on the stove. I know doing herbal kind of medicinal stuff is a little taboo, but we're trying to do everything that we can to not load them up on medicine, on parasite medicine. So this is our first go at it, and so far, it's been working pretty well. <laughs> That's a blooper. <laughs> oh, look at him come, look at him. <laughs> Good job, George. <laughs> He 
loves it. <gasps> what is that? Oh. Oh. What is that? Bubba, get out of here, honey. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So we've been monitor monitoring them pretty regularly. And what you can do to tell like the level of parasites that they have is it actually shows up in their eyes. And what you do is you, you pull back you pull back their bottom eyelid and you want to see a dark red, which you guys might have a hard time seeing, but you can see how dark red his eyelid is. Generally, goats have what we've learned is goats have parasites regardless, but when they're taking over, the bottom of their eyes here turn like a light pink or even a white, and when it's white, it's really bad. So we've been monitoring them and paying attention and watching, and if we get to the point where we need to give them the parasite medicine, we will, because we've been told here that it's basically impossible to let goats free range, but we're trying our best to make it happen. Lola girl, are you having the leftovers? Camilla's were the lightest last time. Huh, baby? <laughs> the really good thing too about this parasite cleanse is you can give it to almost any animal. I mean, not every single one, but we know that we can give it to dogs, we could give it to the chickens. Because it's an herbal blend, it can be useful for many different types of animals. It's time for us to get the goats and the chickens working in unison. They've been doing such a good job of clearing out all the grass, so now what we're gonna start doing is running the chickens behind the goats. We're gonna move the chicken coop every other day. They're gonna help till and fertilize the soil. And this is our future garden you guys are looking at right now. And in here, we haven't grabbed our eggs for a while, but look at all these, look at all this food. So many eggs. And here's just a little close-up look. So you guys might remember we had all of our goats right here. Look how nice of a job, look how short they've gotten it. And now they're working on all this grass over here. You can see Camilla with all the flowers. I'm going. Woo! Woo! Looks so good! Yeah. Ha! Okay. Woo! Looks good, honey. Now we gotta fill a little bit, but. Yeah. Nice. We could totally finish this up. We definitely have time with the sun and everything, but I gotta go to the doctors. Some of you guys have noticed in some comments, I got this lump right here. Can you see it, Poo Poo? Can you see my lump? Give me a second, and yes. My lovely neck lump? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lovely man lump. So we got, I've been, on the background of all these videos, I've been going, getting tests, and getting scans, and blood tests, and chest scans, and... Everything has come back normal so far. So oh, Nothing's really come back yet. We just got all the tests and they're all in Spanish and now we're going to bring them to the doctor. So yeah. we're gonna see what she says. So we'll give you guys the result in a few seconds. <laughs> well, we really didn't get any answers. The only answer we did really get is that it most likely isn't lymphoma or leukemia because I got blood tests done and they said it doesn't look like that's what it is, but they really don't know what it is. So they kind of did the classic, take these antibiotics and let's see what happens. <laughs> So for all you guys that are worrying, I saw a lot of messages in the comments and we got some emails of people that are worried that there's something serious. It could be from the cat and if it is, it'll take two to six months for it to go away. So she said wait two months and then reevaluate. So that's what we're gonna do. and I were really trying hard to do this keto thing. It's been going pretty well for the most part, uh -huh. but we have been craving bread. Like crazy. That's gonna be your excuse for all this? So? I mean, I know that we're, we're just doing this because it's cold in here, so you got the oven going. To heat, heat it up a little bit, you know? I mean, it's a little bit of both, I'll be honest. We've been using this oven as much as possible <laughs> because it has been a little bit chilly. Uh -huh. We're like over here at a little weather station. It's 64 out right now, but it's 75 in here. Yeah. Nice and, nice and toasty. Nice and toasty. One of the, the most questions we've been getting recently is how we're going to put a drawer in here. And it's been pretty simple. We're just going to make it really shallow. <clears throat> so it just goes in like this. It just covers up this part. And then the back is going to be all electrical anyway because we're going to be doing two lights here and there. So we need a junction box back there. 
While we've been building these drawers, we have Iberto working on our retaining wall out here. So the idea is to have a brick retaining wall going all the way around where the string line is. So he's digging a one foot by one foot uh, footer that's gonna go all the way around first. We're gonna pour cement and then build it up with blocks. And something that's been awesome with Iberto is when he first came, he really didn't know how to do anything. Yeah. Just like when we first came onto this land, we really didn't know how to do anything. All of us. And now we just kind of given him bigger and bigger projects to now where he's pretty good with cement. It's kind of crazy because when we first started working on the land, the first thing we built was our, our first rain roof that we were collecting rain off of. That, if you guys don't know us, ended up blowing away with like this a crazy wind that we're having right now. <laughs> but uh, it was such, for me at least, was very overwhelming when we first started. Just like thinking about all the things that we're going to have to do. Even when we start, first started doing the workshop, I'm like, you can't even see the light at the end of the tunnel, uh -huh. you know? But look where we are. We made it this far and I think it's given us a lot of confidence um, going forward when we start building Rodrigo's house, when we start building our house, Kake's house, all that stuff. That so. we can really, we feel like we could really build anything. We're building our own furniture, we've built yeah. all of our own furniture. Yeah. Now we, we feel like we can accomplish anything, we just have to figure it out. I've been spending some time working on filling the holes for the drawers just from the pocket holes that we drilled. So we've just been filling that with some wood filler and just want to get that done so we have time to dry. So it's all dry now and now I'm working on laying some rebar for our other project that we're working on which is our retaining wall. So iberto has been digging this out. Now we're going to need to lay a one foot by one foot footer so we can build this up with brick. having the goal of getting most of these face plates done today. Mostly because of the retaining wall too, I think. We had the retaining wall, we had concrete drying too fast, we had to get in on that. We were just wrapping up a night in here, and today was one of those days where we thought we were gonna get some stuff done. And I mean, we, got, we got stuff done. We got a lot done, but it was just Not some, like visually. Yeah, I think that, that pouring that cement took a lot more. Yeah. Work than we a lot thought. of muscle, a lot of energy. But the next one we're getting these face plates on, as you guys saw today, we're gonna rip through all those. We're gonna have all the storage. But tomorrow we are leaving for the beach. Ah! We're taking a couple days to just chill and go and relax down by the ocean. So, so exciting. That's how we're gonna be spending our weekend. But the two of us have a little bit of an announcement. We are starting to post all of our behind the scenes footage. Well, having Kaka here, we have a ton of footage. He films everything. Yeah. And he catches a lot of very, uh, <laughs> yeah, behind the scenes, never seen before footage. <laughs> yeah. So, Kaylee and I are both from Boston, and we act like we're from Boston. If you guys know people from Boston, then you just know. We are, uh, we bust each other's balls all the time. <laughs> So we basically just posted a whole video up on Patreon of all of us just busting each other's balls the and, whole time. And basically what a typical day looks like for all of us. So, so. we'll put, this is our first behind the scenes video we're posting up on Patreon. We'll make it public. So if you guys want to see this video, we'll put it in the top link of the description. We hope you guys love it, but that's what we'll leave you with. Thank you guys for following along. We love you guys so, 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 so much. See you next time.